Fake is the project. It is amazing. It is. I really like Fake. I really like their structure. I really like some of the stuff they're doing. Supposed to be developing a software. I don't know if I'm supposed to share that or not, but I am. Hey everyone, it's David here. I'm gonna answer some killer questions that have gone through my YouTube channel that people are asking me. So I'm gonna go and reply to these right now. We're gonna answer about three or four questions, but do me a favor, if you've not subscribed to my channel, go and subscribe and click the notification link down below. I'd love for you to be one of my lucky winners. Plus you get notified when I have like live events, live phone calls, various events like that. So I'd love for you to be one of my lucky winners or get notified as I do things live online. Okay, my first question, great question. Um, this comes from Clint. Clint says, do you hire your own attorney or do you submit claims on your own? What states require attorneys? So Clint, this is where it comes to knowing your local laws and rules and, and you, you get familiar with that state. So I have an attorney in California that I hire out. I've got two actually. I've got a great, incredible person and what she does is she will go ahead and submit claims in for mortgage overages for me and she does that and she, she's absolutely incredible. So that's one attorney that I use for that because you have to be very careful how you work in the state of California. What's weird is like, and I haven't done a, a deal in Utah or seen a deal in Utah done in a while. I know in Utah you could do what's called an assignment of interest where you have the funds assigned to you and you then do a contingency agreement where you agree on the percentages and the breakdown with your client. So say it's a 70-30, you're getting 30, they're getting 70. You do a contingency agreement. When you have the funds assigned to your corporation, then you pay the person directly and you've really got to know your laws. I have people that do contingency agreements with an attorney in states that you don't really need an attorney. They go ahead and they just use the attorney because when an attorney calls a trustee or the bank and they say, hey, I'm, I'm representing so-and-so, we want to get paid. An attorney goes a lot further than what an individual does. And it's sad that that happens, but it just, it is like that. And that's kind of the way it works in society. Here's a question. So if you all know, I do share some outside investments that I do do uh, outside of surplus funds and done very well with FEG. Here's a question by Valerie and Valerie asks me, Bitcoin is followed by the RS. Trust me. They ask me if I have any funds here so they could tax me on. Yes, absolutely. So I've done very well with FEG and I'm amazed at how well the investment's done. I know people who've done very well in FEG is FEG and it's done very well. But keep in mind, so anything I give you on surplus funds. I'm telling you what has worked for me. Please don't take this as legal advice. And anything on the FEG, run this all by your CPA and your accountants on what you're doing and how you're doing it. By all means, I'm not a tax specialist. All my taxes will be reported. Um, and being self-employed, um, I do pay the IRS every year. It's something and it's just something that, that you have to be just ready for. Someone asked me, most people say that three or four months pay out on average. Is that correct? This is referring to um, a, a surplus fund video. I did one called She Hung Up On Me because I had a gal just hang up on me and that was really interesting. It all depends on where you're working. I've seen somebody recently paid out in just weeks and that was a state. I would say regularly getting paid out in eight weeks. I have other people taking 12 to 16 weeks. It just all depends. I know California was really lagging behind. I know that they've picked up. I know many counties are going back to work and they're, they're just seeing um, things that are happening. So it just, it all depends. Um, I would say three to four months would be a good, a good benchmark and plan on it. And people say, well, I have to wait four months. Well, let me challenge you on this. We're in June of 2021 right now when I'm doing this video. July, August, September, October. So in October, middle of October, boom, you get your first payout. End of October, boom, you get your second payout. Beginning of November, boom, you get your third payout. And then your next payout, your next payout. So you're sowing today, you're going to reap tomorrow. And that's that's where it just really pays out really nicely and it, it helps you out. So I would say you sow today, keep on getting out there, keep on keep on marketing this and and and, and going out on this and, and you'll be fine there. So absolutely. Valerie asks me, hi, David, would love to know about the training, is it videos or all reading? Um, so Valerie, 90% of our, our training is on videos. Um, you know what, that's a good idea though. Maybe what I should do is put some of it in reading where it could be both if someone could sit down and read. A lot of our training, and it's different than other training, like like if, if you went into the program and I love doing these free videos and, and I obviously talk about the program, but this is kind of a moment on the program which I wasn't planning on getting into. But to answer this question, Valerie, and, and let me know that you got this, we are what I call hands-on lab experience. You you come on and, and you learn a couple of things about yourself and, and you learn about who you are and what's going to be successful in helping you market. And I say that because you start off here and you want to be here and most people don't know how to get here and they're here and there's a gap between this 
and you're going to get frustrated. So what we do is we teach you how to get here and we give you support. You join like a, a community in the, in the Facebook group. You can ask questions and everything as you want. You get coaching and, and the coaches that come on the business are coaches that are doing six figures easily a year. Um, some are doing like anywhere from like one of our coaches and, and we're really lucky to have him. He does over a hundred grand a month and, and he coaches for us. And I'm like, wow, we're lucky to have this guy. Many of the other coaches do the same. So we're videos and we're also like a lot of hands-on and challenges. Like you're given assignments and, and it's how coachable you are. We have people that come in the program and I, I, they're very successful. I love this. And then I have other people that come in and they, they tell me how they're going to be successful and what they're going to do. And they tell me what I'm doing wrong. And I, I literally have had this. So I'm like, okay, we have people making six figures a year by doing what we say to do. So you have to be coachable. But yeah, most of it's on videos. I know I got on a side tangent, which I know a lot of you hear me do. So thank you for, thank you for always being patient with me there. I really appreciate that. But yeah, you got to watch the program and, and just be coachable if, if you want to be su successful. But what I could do is I could take the videos and put those into like a, just a transcript and put those at the bottom where you could download those and read those. Um, that's something that we could do. And then the, the labs are the interaction you have with people, the groups and the um, like we have you practice communicating with people. We have you practice getting deals. We have you doing a lot of practice and everything. So yeah, that's huge. Someone um, commented on my juice fast that I did a five day juice fast, which was incredible. It was um, press juicery. I, I really liked them and, and lost some weight. I, I need to lose a little more as you could probably see here. I have 15 trillion fag. I've never sold any yet. What would you do at this point? It's gotten lower and I think it will go back up um, testing me. Should I sell half of this? You know, um, Cruz and Chris, I, I love that name. First of all, I've asked myself the same exact question. I don't know if um, I should sell mine off or not. Um, it is low right now. It has dropped, but what I've noticed about fake is it, it drops to its lows and it goes to its high and it drops. I don't know. I, I'm hoping it goes back up. And what I might do is I might sell half of mine and I'm asking myself the, the same questions. I am actually learning a little, little bit more about Bitcoin. I do have a couple people in my mastermind. I will do some more videos on this as I learn. And I love the fact that you asked me this question because I've asked myself the same question. Feg is the project. It is amazing. It is. I really like Feg. I really like their structure. I really like some of the stuff they're doing. Supposed to be developing a software. I don't know if I'm supposed to share that or not, but I am. Hopefully they do. And um, hopefully, hopefully it goes that way. Someone else commented they're the best in the world. Okay, so this one, um, the Q Man 805 asks me, I love that name. Any recommendations on what program or site to use in finding clients' phone numbers once you download the, the names from the state? Um, you could you could use um, a lot. Um, there's there's True People Search, which I used, um, and, and I've gotten accurate information on there. If I can't find my client, I do try relatives, and that's what True People Search is probably what the majority of people do. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about Bin Verified and Spokio. I used Spokio when I first started the business. There's app.surpluslist.com. That's a little um, more expensive, but you get you get mortgage overages and you also get 150 skip traces a month on that. And it's pretty good because we give you what's working. So it gives you the latest information on what TLO uses and it's cutting information. So that works pretty good. So that's another thing that you can do. Okay, the future is FEG maybe. Um, FEG for life, um, I hope so. Should I buy this or now, now or not? So um, keep in mind, man, Verda, I'm not a specialist. If it was me personally doing this, I would buy it while it's low and I would buy it, but that's just me. Keep in mind, you're doing that at your own risk. I'm just telling you what I would personally do. Let's look at one more. Annie, how do I obtain a license to do surplus funds? So Annie, um, if, if you're going with the state, a lot of states have their own own protocol and you, you need to find out the laws of the state. If you're doing um, mortgage overages, most of those are, are tax overages. You have to get in on the local counties and overages. You don't necessarily have to have a license to do that. I hope that helps. I know that was brief and, and quick, but I hope that helps. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for the questions. Thank you for watching. Do me a favor. Again, if you haven't liked this video and you've got great content out of here, please like it. Please um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and I'll see you on the next video.